like when I was little, and I wanted a Christmas tree, and my mom who thought spending money on a tree that would be thrown out two weeks later didn't make any sense. And when you're struggling and you're counting every cent, a Christmas tree is a luxury and a wasteful expense. But on December 24th, our living room plant was filled with light and ornaments. My mother, also a magician. And I want to follow in her legacy, which is why I want to be the world's greatest magician. And with the flicker of my wand, poof, I will turn freeways into parks, turn every Walmart into homeless shelters, turn prisons into schools, and I will turn schools into schools. <laughs> I will turn police stations into community centers. As the world's greatest magician, I would make the Arizona governor undocumented. I would make Muslim, Christian, and Jews love one another. I would turn Bush into an Iraqi mother. I would eliminate apathy and get rid of fear. And I would make crooked politicians poof, disappear. I would give people courage to stand up for their truth. And I would put a spell on cops so they stop harassing our youth. I would cleanse our communities from heroin and crack. And I would give black people New Orleans back. I would make fast food lovers into organic food lovers. And instead of hot Cheetos and lime flavored Doritos, I would make children love veggies and fruits. And I would tax corporations for how much crap they pollute. I would give people wings so they may learn how to fly. And I would make sexy lingerie fall from the sky. And with a twist of my wrist and a spoken command, I would conjure with my hands and put a spell on all the land so that it would profit only the families of those who work it. As the world's greatest magician, there's so much I plan to achieve. I've got so many tricks tucked up my sleeves that will spark the imagination of children and remind grown-ups that it's never too late to believe in magic.